Hi, I'm Mary Rogers, the Director of Marketing Communications for Cuisinart. Today I'm going to talk to you about our Elite Collection food processors. This is a brand new product. It has great innovative features, so let's get started. First and foremost, it's the way the lid goes on and comes off. All you do is press these two release buttons and lift it up, and there you go. It comes off. To put it back on, you lay it on top and you just press down in the front and in the back, and that's how you engage the lid. One of the neat innovative features that it has is this inside here, we call this the seal tight advantage system. And what this does is it actually seals the top of the bowls in any bowl combination because the bowls nest. So what happens is this enables you to use the maximum capacity of the food processor's work bowl. The other thing that's really new and different about this food processor is the way the blade is engaged into the work bowl. When you put it on and you press it down, it actually um, seals the bottom of the bowl so that you never get leaks or any um, drips from the bottom. And we call that our blade lock system. The other thing that it does is you lift the bowls off the base and when you pour, the blade actually stays engaged in the bowl. So as I mentioned earlier, it also has um, nesting bowls. So there's three size bowls, the small bowl, the medium bowl, and the large bowl. And later I'm going to show you how to use all of the bowls. But basically they nest all together so that you can do recipes in, um, single recipes in each bowl, or you can use the bowls in conjunction with each other to do multiple steps. So, like I mentioned, let's make vinaigrette so you can see how the small bowl works. First we're going to put in a little bit of parsley and some basil. And remember too that it's really great to use fresh ingredients because you get really great fresh, fresh flavors. We're going to add a little bit of thyme, which smells really great. A little bit of salt. We're going to put in some lemon juice. to start. Whoops. I'm getting it all over myself, but that's okay. And then I'm going to put the lid on here and believe it or not, just press the on button and it's going to chop all the herbs up really finely. Then we're going to turn it off and I'm going to go get some olive oil. So now that I have my olive oil, let's turn the machine back on. I'm going to add it through the small feed tube. You can actually put the feed tube in and pour it through the small feed tube because the small feed tube has a, a hole in it. And what it'll do is it'll drip the olive oil a little bit at a time into the work bowl so that you get a really, really great emulsified vinaigrette. Let's take our lid off and take a peek. Looks really good, but I'm gonna process it some more until all the olive oil goes down. And now that our olive oil has totally incorporated into um, our vinaigrette, I'm going to show you a little trick and turn the machine off. Take the lid off. And using our pour spout, we're going to put our vinaigrette right directly onto the salad. Look how beautiful that looks. And that's how you use your small work bowl to make a beautiful, fresh vinaigrette. So now that I showed you how to use your small work bowl and small chopping blade, let me show you everything that comes with your food processor. There's so many great accessories. First you have your storage case which has a lock on it to keep everything locked inside. Um, you have your stem and the stem goes inside um, the work bowls and is pressed down so that you can mount your small chopping blade when using the small work bowl and as I mentioned earlier, when you press down on the small chopping blade, it engages the special um, blade lock system, which allows you to use the maximum capacity of your food processor's work bowl. So now that I showed you the small chopping blade, it also comes with a large chopping blade. And a large chopping blade is great for doing anything like chopping, pureeing, mixing. It can be used for um, pie crust, which is, makes a beautiful pie crust. 
And then we have our dough blade. Our dough blade is great when you're using um, it to knead any type of yeast-based dough. So when you're going to make pizza dough or, pot or bread dough, that's what you're going to use in conjunction with our special um, dough control feature. And then in this little drawer here, I'm going to pull it out. And I'm going to show you two really special things. The first is our adjustable slicing disc. It's really great because you can actually turn the stem on the bottom and it adjusts from one millimeter all the way to six millimeters so that you can slice anything really, really thin for, say, like um, au gratin potatoes to something really, really thick if you want to make um, orange slices or lemon slices or even um, using it to make um, a cut for a french fry to make french fries. It has two holes here which you're supposed to use to um, put the um, blade, the disc into the food processor. And like I mentioned, it's fabulous because it's really like having six discs in one. I'm going to put that aside. And next I'm going to show you our shredding disc. Same thing, it has holes so when you can um, put it in the food processor, use those to lift it. One side has a medium shred and when you turn it over, like I said, it's reversible, the other side has a fine shred. And the way that um, you use these discs to put them in the food processor, they're used with the medium and the large bowl. So first I'm going to remove my small blade and I'm going to remove my small bowl. And like I mentioned, you can use it using the, the medium or the large bowl. And you put it right on top by matching the markings on the top of the disc with the stem. And then you just put the lid back on, like I mentioned earlier, pressing down on the front and pressing down on the back. And there you can use your shredding disc. The next thing that um, I want to show you is how to mount on the slicing disc because we're going to actually use that. Same thing, either hold it by the hub or the finger holes and you're going to adjust to the thickness that you want. I'm going to do it, I think, medium, so I'm going to put it on four. I'm going to put it back in the food processor. I'm going to put the lid on. And next I'm going to show you how to make coleslaw. The first thing we're going to do to start shredding our cabbage is to remove the large pusher. We're going to put in the cabbage and you're going to see how easy it is to use your medium work bowl to shred cabbage. Put in another piece. Now what we're going to do is going to remove the lid and switch to our shredding disc. And I think I'm going to use the medium side of the shredding disc today. We're going to shred our carrots. And this time I'm going to use, whoops, that's something I should mention. The really great thing about this food processor is you can bat, bat what we call batch process. So um, when you remove the feed tube, the machine shuts off and it allows you to um, continue putting your food in the feed tube with the machine on and continuing to process. I'm going to turn it off, get my small feed tube out, food pusher out, put in my carrots. And um, this is really great for when you're doing um, small items. So we're going to turn it on. And look how quick and easy it was to make shreds. It's unbelievable at that. The other thing I want to mention too is that this medium work bowl that we're using is um, 11 cups. So you can get a lot of um, cabbage or carrots in there. And look how easy it is to get beautifully shredded and sliced vegetables. It couldn't be easier with your Cuisinart food processor. I've showed you how to make vinaigrette and I've showed you how to prepare a coleslaw. Now I'm going to show you how to use your dough blade and dough control feature on your 14 cup food processor to make yeast based doughs. First we're going to remove the medium work bowl by using the finger recesses on the sides. I'm going to put that aside and you're going to take your dough blade, put it in the food processor just by twisting it until it falls down. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the flour to the large work bowl. And you can add up to um, six cups of flour. I've already put the salt in the flour, so that makes it um, really easy. So, One of the great features with this food processor is the dough control, like I mentioned. And 
actually what it does is it needs the um, flour at a lower RPM so that you get a beautifully kneaded dough at the, uh, at the end. It actually senses the load on the motor and makes the adjustment for you so you don't have to worry about making a beautiful pizza or even a bread dough. So we put the lid on, lock it in place, and to engage your dough control feature, you're going to press the dough blade, the dough button first, and then you're going to press the on button. But first what I like to do is to kind of just sift everything together very quickly. I'm going to press the on button just for a few seconds, then I'm going to turn the off button on. Then what I'm going to do is, like I mentioned, press dough and then on, and then I'm going to add my water through the feed tube, and we're going to knead dough. It's that easy. So we slowly incorporate our yeast mixture into the flour. And you're going to see what happens. It's going to make a nice ball. I might need to get a little more water. Because it's a little dry today. So let me get some more water. going to continue by adding more water into the feed tube, through the feed tube. We're almost there. And how you know your dough is almost ready is see how it's making a ball? And as it gets to this point where it's about to um, there it goes. Maybe a tiny bit more water. There it is. See how it totally incorporates and it's going around the work bowl and the work bowl sides are clean? You're going to do that for 45 seconds and then you're going to shut the machine off. So now that our dough is done, let's remove it from the work bowl. I'm going to take the lid off. There you go. Look how beautiful it is. I'm going to just get it out and um, just incorporate little pieces here that all together. And look how beautiful that is. It's a beautiful, beautiful bread dough. All you have to do now is proof it, bake it off, and it couldn't be easier or simpler with your Cuisinart Elite Collection food processor.